So when we talk about transverse abdominus bracing, so bracing that lower abdominal muscle, like we've been working on laying down, you know, with the blood pressure cuff, showing that example, one of the things that we want to do then is make sure that that translates into function so that you can do things in life um, and still be able to hold that transverse abdominus, that natural back brace of your body. So what we want to do is learn how to do that in standing um, and sitting and while moving, so doing squats and other things. So let's show you how to do that. So we imagine your pelvis is kind of like that bowl of water, right? You can tilt the water out the front, out the back, or out either side as well. So we want to find where your neutral spine is in terms of how tilted that pelvis is. So if we tilt the spine too far forward, right, we don't want to squat like that because that's too much of an arch to our back. And we don't want to be totally tucked under because now my back is rounded and I'm putting increased pressure on the discs. So it's finding that neutral spine. So for me, if I kind of dump under and then over exaggerate and then back off, once I feel those back muscles kind of relax from holding it here and I back off, that's the neutral spine where everything is stacked, um, where ear is over the shoulder, shoulder over the hip, and where my spine is neutral. There's a little bit of a curve here, but it's not arched and I'm not tucked under. So it's finding kind of that neutral spine and then bracing those abdominal muscles. That's where you want to hold that transverse abdominus contraction and you should be able to talk and breathe and move and exercise. I'm doing it right now while I'm talking with you and I'm not losing my breath. So you should be able to do it, hold that contraction and then we're going to do a squat with it. So I want you to see it from the sideways. We're going to find neutral, so over arch, back off, lock that in, and then we're going to squat down touch, and come back up, keeping that neutral spine. So you're not sitting down at all, you're just going down until you touch, and then reverse direction, maintaining that neutral spine. And then you can practice by getting a lower and lower chair, or just building into a regular squat, but you want to focus on keeping that neutral spine throughout the squat, and being able to hold that transverse abdominus contraction. So you saw there, I, I got a little backward, or I got a little too high in my chest, and it made me tilt backwards just a little bit. If that happens, you want to keep those abdominal muscles uh, tight, but you can lean forward slightly a little bit more. You want to keep your body weight over your feet is the key. So you may have to lean forward a little bit more to keep your back straight as you squat down. If you can keep your back straight, it keeps the load even through your spine and allows you to to do those squats or to do other functional movements without putting your back as much at risk. As you get stronger, uh, you won't have to worry about it quite as much and it'll happen a little bit more naturally. But early on to help avoid pain and to keep that body's natural back brace engaged, it's really gonna help keep you safe and allow you to move again.